What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to my channel once again. So today we're gonna to be looking at this Tronhu T220S Pro. I'm gonna go ahead and get this unboxed. We're gonna get this set up and see how well this works. So stick around. Okay, now that we're done with all that shenanigans, so this is everything that it comes with. Um, and from the looks of it, this is probably going to be probably the easiest build that I have done yet on one of these printers. Because it looks like all there is, I guess this is an extra screw that was just sitting in the box, but from the looks of it, four screws, that's it. So this should not take long at all, but I'm gonna get this set up and we're gonna go from there. All right, so we're all set up. I got the filament loaded in. And let me just say, this took about probably not even eight minutes to get this put together. These were literally the only two tools that I needed. And this one was just for the filament holder. And this one was for the four bolts underneath. But that was it, two tools, simple. So I guess all that's left to do is get this plugged in, turn it on, and let's start a print and see how this works. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and level this to make sure it's level. So we'll click on auto level, we'll zero it. Now you're gonna to wanna to take a piece of paper, slide it under and make sure that it's, see how that's, seems to be a little too tight, so we'll raise it. So you can see now that it's under there, so we'll go ahead and lower it until this is basically just barely touching the piece of paper. So we'll click save, and we're gonna go ahead and do that one more time to make sure that those settings are actually accurate. So we'll zero it again. And as you can see, the paper is still right underneath and it's just barely touching it. So that's gonna be just fine for us. So now we're gonna continue on with the auto leveling. So we'll click the little play button. And now this will auto level all the corners and make sure that it's even. So I'm going to assume that this is leveled now that that is complete. However, if I do want to manually level this, I can with these little levers that are right underneath. I can turn each one and adjust it and do it manually if necessary, but 
I'm just gonna go ahead and print something and see if that's right. So we'll preheat the nozzle to get this heated up to temperature. Next, we'll click there. And we got this heating up to 210. Now that it's heated up, we're gonna extrude the filament just to make sure that it's coming out. So now we'll go ahead and, and we're gonna warm up the bed. So we'll go to the temperature icon and we're gonna set this to 60 degrees. So this only took about a minute and a half to heat up to 60 degrees Celsius. So now that it's all heated up, let's go back and let's start a print file. So we'll click on the little print and we have fish, elephant, Doraemon. Uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and click on fish. Are you sure you wanna start printing? Absolutely. Let's click okay. And we're gonna go ahead and wait. Let's see what happens. All right, so this print has finished. It took one hour and 20 minutes. So I'll power down the machine. There we have it, we have a fish. So the one thing I like about this is that it has a magnetic plate that I can easily just pop right off. Oh, and the piece slides right off. So there's our fish. It moves, that's pretty cool. The bottom does look a little burnt, not quite sure how that happened, but that's okay. But I'm quite happy with that. The, the detail came out pretty good. It's, I wouldn't say it's perfect, but I could probably adjust some settings and make it a little better, but overall, I think that worked quite well. It's in one piece, it's not falling apart yet, so that's a good thing. It was very easy to take off the bed, so that's also a plus. So before I wrap up this video, a few things I'd like to talk about. The one thing is the user interface. It's super easy to do everything you want. There's only six buttons, so if you just wanted to print, you just go to print, pick the file you want. To load and unload the filament, to preheat, which it already has pre-settings for PLA, ABS, PTG, so that's simple. If you need to move it around at all, you can. Leveling and auto leveling is very simple, it's just a push of a button. And the settings, if you wanna switch it from English to Chinese or so, so forth. So those are all super easy features and it, this is not complicated at all. I did not have to adjust um, the rails at all with the screwdriver. As you can see, there's no wiggle room whatsoever. It slides easily, so there was no adjusting needed in that at all. So that was really nice. On a few other ones, I've had to manually adjust it because it'd be a little loose and the print wouldn't come out as well as I had hoped. I do wish that it had two rails, one on each side instead of just the one, just to make it a little more sturdy, but I haven't noticed a problem, so I'm okay with that. The filament loads in very easily. You can unload it and load it just by pushing this and tightening it. Everything was easy to plug in, just a couple wires, and you just pop them into place. It's that simple. The one other thing I do like is that it did come with two extra nozzles and a fuse in case you blow one as a backup. So you never know when something like that's gonna happen, but it's good to have a backup just in case. So there you have it. This was the Tronho Best G T220S series. It's very easy to set up. Instruction manuals, not very hard to understand. It's pretty straightforward and simple. 
prints come out nice. Not the greatest that I've seen, but also not the worst that I've seen. So I'm okay with that. So there you have it guys. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below. Ring the bell. Get notified of all new videos that come out each week. And as always, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one.